Moving on from the last video, we will look at question 24b, part 2 from the 2015 HSC paper. We will have to determine the magnitude and the direction of the reaction force at pin joint B. So let's begin. Welcome to the next edition of Eureka Engineering HSC Solutions. In the last video, we looked at question 24b, part I from the 2015 HSC paper, where we calculated the reaction force at the roller joint A. Now we are required to find the magnitude and direction of the reaction force at pin joint B. So the first step we need to do is we need to use the sum of forces in both the vertical and horizontal directions to calculate both BX and BY. So step one. Calculate BX and BY by using sum of forces in the x direction, which is 0, and sum of forces in the y direction equals 0. So let's do that, and sum of forces in the x direction equals 0. I consider this direction to be positive, so I have bx plus AX, which we found to be 3450 newtons, equals zero, as these are the two, only two horizontal forces, only two horizontal external forces. So therefore, BX equals 3450 newtons. It's negative, which means we're going to flip the direction. So therefore, it's 3450 newtons going this way. Now, the next step is doing sum of forces in the vertical direction. So sum of forces in the vertical direction equals zero. And I'll flip that as H, horizontal. So we have BY, we have minus 1200 as it is going down, and we have minus 750 equals zero. So BY equals 1950 newtons. It's positive, so we've assumed correctly, hence going up. Now, we found BX and BY, but we want the reaction force. So the next step is to form a right angle triangle, whereby we can then use Pythagoras to find the reaction force. So step two. Form a right angle triangle to calculate the resultant force. So I know that Bx is going this way. So we have Bx going this way. This is the pin joint B. And this will be, that's By going this direction, Bx going that right direction. So this will be my resultant force. This is my right angle. By, I know, is 1950. Bx is 3450. And this is my R. So, using Pythagoras, R squared equals, sorry, R equals square root 1950 squared plus 3450 squared. And we should get a value of Therefore, R equals 39.63 newtons. Now, we don't stop there. We need to now find the direction. So by, but when they say direction, it means we need to find the angle. So, and this is the angle that we are interested in. So we know that this is opposite. This is adjacent. Opposite on adjacent is tan. So therefore, so tan theta equals opposite 1950 on the adjacent 3450 so therefore theta equals tan inverse 1950 on 3450 theta equals 29.5 degrees so in conclusion we have our reaction force to be 39.63 newtons and its direction will be 
29.5 degrees. And that's pretty much it for the part two.